Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Spot Cleaner. Okay, so first let's take a look at the machine, then I'm actually going to go clean some uh, carpet with it. So first, you do have to do some assembly. You're going to put these brackets in, and these brackets hold the power cord and then the nozzle. This is a really nice feature. It's very portable that way. Then we also get the rinse tool. This is called the Hydro Rinse Tool, which you're going to store right on the hose. We've got two tanks. This is the, the solution tank. So you're going to put your solution right up here. You're going to fill it up with water and then solution, which I'm going to show you. But they call this the Pro Heat. Now, you're going to put hot tap water in here for your liquid. It doesn't, you cannot put just cold tap water in here and expect it to heat it up to a really hot temperature and clean the carpet. But there is a heater in here that will maintain the tap, tap water temperature. So tap water is usually around 130 degrees, so it's going to try to maintain that. Over here is the dirty water tank. And again, just grab it up here and kind of tilt it out. We can dump the dirty water out right with this. Once in a while, you do have to kind of clean this float valve here, and you can take this nut off. It can be a little hard, but you can take this nut off. You can take this whole thing apart and get this all nice and clean. So we're going to be using this formula that's for portable carpet cleaners. Okay, so I've let my tap water run a little bit. Now, I've got about 140 degrees, 142 degrees for my ta hot tap water. So be careful, but this is what you're going to put in the machine. We're going to fill it up to the water line. Right there. Okay, so we've got it filled up to the water line. Now we're going to go from the water line to that line with formula. Now at this point, you could add another ounce of boost, but I'm just going to use the spot and stain remover. Okay, so make sure you put this lid on, snap it on, and then over here at the machine, tilt it in, and then make sure it snaps into place. And again, over here on the dirty water tank, always make sure this is closed so you have good suction. If that is left open, you will not have good suction. And it's very simple to operate. We simply got to switch to turn it on or off. Okay, so let's go clean some carpet with it. Okay, so I've got some chocolate syrup, grape jelly, and some ketchup. Let's turn it on. Let's pre-treat the area first. You're gonna pull the trigger and let some solution come out. I like that the solution comes out under pressure. I can soak this whole stain. And it really comes out good. Okay, now let's use the suction and scrub. Yeah, it's, do it's doing a really good job. I'm actually spraying too while I'm scrubbing, putting more solution down. Towards the end, I'll just do suction only. This thing's doing a really good job on the stains. I like that I can really grit on get on there and scrub. It's got all three stains out super quick now let's just do suction just to kind of dry the area out really good wow that did a really really good job okay so now let's rinse the hose you're going to press this button right here take this nozzle off put the hose rinse on there's a place for the nozzle to go on for where the solution comes out now when i when i'm going to turn it on when i spray solution is going to come out and be directed down the hose all right, I'm spraying the trigger. It's going down the hose. Now what I like to do, leave it on, leave it on, but take that off and it lets more air through and then it really air dries it. Okay. I'm very impressed with how well it did. I do think that water being hot, does help kind of lift the stain off a little bit. Let's go empty this out. Very easy, grab it right here. We're gonna take it and we're gonna go empty it out. Okay, so here we go. It's got a nice opening. We're gonna run some water in there. I like to just get all the mess kind of out of it, kind of rinse it around and then rinse it out. If I do need to, I can open the bottom up and give it a nice good cleaning. 
So this retails for about $123. I will put a link to it in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you end up clip on, clicking on the link, I will get a commission from the sale, but the product won't cost you anymore. Now I did buy this product with my own money and I was not paid for this video. Check out my next video. I'm gonna do a comparison with the Bissell Little Green Spot Cleaner. And I also compare it to the blue version. So these two are pretty much exactly the same. I'm gonna do a comparison with the Spot Clean Pro Heat. If there's something else you would like to see this compared to, leave it in the show description notes. This makes it really good for cleaning couches and chairs. You could even take this out to your car and clean upholstery in your car. So again, I really hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.